There's sightings every day. It won't be a matter of time before we have real high-resolution photo of something we can definitively prove is not ours, is not of this Earth. Well, do you think People there's... would sign the fuck up. Do you think there's that much excitement about aliens? Okay. Um, I, I'm not, like, it's ultimately... Why, why are aliens so interesting? Because to me, philosophically and scientifically, it's a super interesting question. Yeah. Like, just even the question, are we alone? That's really exciting. But it's not... Do you think people would vote to pay for that versus to pay for... You don't want them voting for that. Just do it. Just do oh, it. And they'll right. go, okay, okay. <laughs> Just tell them it's imperative. Just like the fucking... These, yeah. these bills that get passed. Yeah. We're not voting on those bills, yeah. right? Representatives, they just do it. They just do it. They just put them in the sky. The aliens are coming. We got to do something. People would, that would be the new climate change. It's like aliens. Oh, the aliens are coming. And you, you're either with us against the aliens or you're with the aliens. What are you, a fucking traitor? You're going to give us up to the aliens, you piece of shit? And so there's going to be some sort of a ideological conflict on Earth, whether or not uh, we donate money to the defenses. Like the Democrats who want to defend against the aliens, the Republicans are going to be like, hey, let's just hear them talk first. And we're, <laughs> we're going to have a fucking giant dilemma here. Yeah, I, I, ho I hope aliens are, if they're out there, I hope they're detectable by us humans and we can interact with them, probably not communicate with them. But the, from my perspective, you have to be humble. Advanced alien civilizations are probably so sophisticated that we dumb descendants of apes cannot possibly even detect them. I have a feeling mm -hmm. there's all sorts of ways that they could be. And some of them could be undetectable. They're yeah. They might be made of light. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But other ones are going to be just a little bit ahead of us. There's an infinite number of them. Yeah, and there's going to be an infinite number of ones. Us. Sure they will. If they're a thousand years ahead of us, you don't think they can get to us? Yeah, space travel is really difficult. Yeah. Sure, it is. But if they figure out some new technology within a thousand years, that's not outside the realm of possibility. For sure. But then they they figured out all other kinds of technologies sure. that enable them to uh to navigate complicated life forms that are unlike them and to be able to study them and to yeah. manipulate them and all that kind without of stuff them knowing about without it. them knowing about it why would you uh, why would you have them know about it well the idea could be that you want to kind to kind of plant the seeds of this idea because it's so shocking to the psyche of these very fragile apes yeah, you'd you be want, careful with the fragile apes yeah you would have to tr <laughs> well you have to think about what we are Right, we are we're real close to like what we were a million years ago. We're real close to like very violent, hair covered, barbaric animals, and now we have thermonuclear weapons, <laughs> and now we have satellite imagery and cell phones, and we're close to some new thing. And I think if I was an alien, I would want to watch. Mm -hmm. I would want to watch this very bizarre transition because, like, if you could study, look, think about all the things we go to study that are so boring. I mean, guys dedicate their whole lives to find a new fern, you mm -hmm. know, and what, what are we? You know, we're the most fascinating fucking thing in the known universe by far. If we didn't know about people, when we, if we were some logical creature from somewhere else and we found people... And we, we would be like, holy shit, you know, where do you see these fucking guys? What, what, they, what, they, vote, they have a popularity contest to see who controls the weapons. They're all like obviously paid off by these corporations and special interest groups. And everybody's like, oh, I don't get it. These politicians, they make hundreds of millions of dollars on a job that pays $100,000 a year. And we're like, what? What the fuck is going on? Well, from if they're observing us, do you think humans stand out that much? Yes. Uh, from, from the rest of life on Earth? Because it yes. could be the same kind of life force that you just described some basic stuff, some basic uh, 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 dynamics of interactions between species that could be equally as fascinating as the interaction between ants. Or well, I think those are fascinating, too. I don't think anybody would think that ants aren't fascinating. Ants are fascinating to us. I'm sure ants would be fascinating to uh, someone from another planet that doesn't know what ants are. But ants can't nuke the whole fucking planet a hundred times over and point weapons at each other. And like we have a weird ability to mm -hmm. change the the surface of the earth. To We've understand. created these structures yep. that uh, that rise hundreds and hundreds of feet into the sky. They're all made out of glass. Like we're wild. We're so different than any other animal. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of fascinating other animals. Lions are fascinating. Zebras are fascinating. Everything's fascinating, but not like us. 
No, <laughs> if you came here from another planet, the first thing you would go is like, these crazy talking monkeys are out of control. And you would just start rattling off what they do. You talk about Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. You would talk about rock stars. You would talk about the internet. You would talk about TikTok, about phone addictions. Or, People would think it's fascinating. Or just like ChatGPT and GPT-1, 2, and 3, they see that as a trivial consequence of evolution that you just increase the, po the computational power of the brain, you're going to start getting these kinds of interactions because they know what happens in the next thousand of years. They, they understand hmm. the general trajectory. It's going to be, we don't know that trajectory. It could be AI, AI, and then there's stages in the development of AI and the kind of system it creates. Maybe it'll be one collective intelligence that... Uh, encompasses the whole world to where it's no longer individual entities. It's one intelligence that's mm. trying to solve nuclear fusion and, and achieve uh, type one Kardashev scale civilization that's then able to uh, become a multiplanetary species. They know this whole development is trivial to them. They're going to yawn. And then, or maybe they know that this is the stage where it's inevitable that these creatures destroy themselves. Mm. Because, like, the. The, that the, in order to achieve this level of intelligence, there has to be a fundamental desire for conflict. And the, the better the weapons get, the more the conflict will enable them to destroy themselves. If not through nuclear weapons, then through AI, through genetic engineering, through all kinds of stuff. Matt, maybe that's where aliens come in. And maybe what aliens are is like a caretaker of this process. Yeah. Which is why... You know, one of the things about UFO folklore, when they drop Fat Man and Little Boy, when they drop those bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, like UFO sightings, there's a, like a pretty big uptick. Yeah. And we're talking about like, why do people want it? Why do they want the aliens to be there? I think because we realize how many questions we have. We realize like how little we really know. We know so much, but so little, and we don't have much time. We live for a hundred years if everything goes great. We, uh, we don't know what's right in terms of nutrition. Someone will tell you this is terrible for you. Another one will tell you that's essential for, for human development. You're like, what? We don't know what's the right way to educate people. You hear that our school systems are great. They just need more funding. And you hear, no, they're, they've design they were designed to make factory workers out of rural people. They were designed to take, like, people that had uh, they were wild folks and make them sit in a fucking chair and, and do everything and go by factory bells every day. Well, both those things are true. 